is playing right now that you guys aren't actually hearing me say these things. <laughs> Whoa, we'll wait. We'll wait for the ad to stop. I'll just go get my drink, I guess. Oh, tonight's episode, not at all sponsored by Starbucks uh, Frappuccinos, because they're delicious. How's everybody doing? Oh, only six of you here tonight? What's going on? Tony Lopez, Chris Pinnell, uh, uh, Waldrop, uh, D -D King B, Bennett. Chris, but I sold a dollar. You can get these Dollarama? Am I overpaying? <laughs> What's up, Beckham? Everything's good on my end, man. I'm going to have to check Dollarama for these. They're not a dollar, are they? Because I'm like paying two fifty. I would be disappointing if I'd been paying two fifty for these things and that they're available at Dollarama for a buck. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, they're more than okay. All right. All right. I'm not that upset then. But I do have some bad news about this situation that we're dealing with tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so remember how those chucks or those uh the what, why have i lost the word jaws the jaws wouldn't expand out far enough to get into this steely so i went and bought some number threes and then they didn't have the number threes that i wanted but they had that he had a set of old tower jaws that he sold to me because he doesn't have a talent anymore. And I was like, well, those will work. I put these on right, like right before the show, literally like after I set up the show and set it the time for it, I put these on <laughs> and, and I held this, I didn't hold it up. It was on the bench, but I'm going to reenact. I'm going to reenact what happened. Picture this being on the bench and this being in my hand and going like it's closed all the way oh <laughs> it's too big it's too big <laughs> so i'm going to what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna screw the faceplate back on this side because i still got my holes and I'm just going to expand the mortise a quarter inch or so on this and then quick finish on that and then we'll flip it around. So that's, it's not, it's not a huge deal, but it still was like a little bit like, oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Measure first. Yeah. It needs, let's see, if I do another quarter inch or three eighths or so, it'll be, it'll be lots. It's not that much too big. It's just too big. <laughs> but that is what that is. And we make our way through the world. Same as we always do. It's a little bit warm. Today, we're in another heat wave, they said, and today was supposed to be the hottest of it, but I think that was yesterday, actually. I think we might have gotten off a little bit lucky this time around, because I think yesterday we got up to just over 30, and I don't think we got to 30 today. What am I going to do? I just said what I'm going to do. Pay attention, Beckham. I'm going to make this a quarter inch bigger, or a little bit. I'm not going to measure, obviously. Uh, but I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that that'll go in there. And I'm not saying it again. So if you weren't paying attention that time. 
<coughs> but that means I got to get faceplate and some screws. <coughs> so I'm going to do that. Wait for some people to show up because I don't know where everybody is. Clamps off of things. There we go. We'll just put the faceplate back on it. Make it a little bit bigger. Oh, it got to 34 yesterday? All right. I knew it was hotter yesterday than it got today. It actually, when I was at work today, I was like, isn't this supposed to be the worst of the heat wave today? Because it was actually kind of nice. Like, Felt 26-ish, 27-ish. I was like, this is fine. This is fine. Where did I put my screws? What? Oh. Uh, it still means, however, that at this point in the day, the heat is the sun is beating on the garage door. So I'm in the oven again. And no beers tonight, unfortunately, because I have to go get wife from a thing after the show. That, that's okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. We'll put the faceplate back on. Oh, we'll drop some screws. Uh, how's everybody doing? We'll get the right bit. Everybody have a good week? Yeah, no. This is the exciting part of the evening where I'm doing the work that should have been done before the show. But I literally just figured out, like I just realized this problem, like right before the show. No, no beer today. Are you serious? You need to pay better attention. I just explained it. Oh, except you're at work, so you, uh, <laughs> oh, you're not at work. So why aren't you paying attention to the things that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> oh, I do need to get a head rag. Oh, I can't believe that. To, I got I, I made my mortise the exact perfect size to be too big for that set of jaws and too small for that one. <laughs> like, how would I? You couldn't do that on purpose, I don't think. Like, there's probably like this much room between too small for that one and too big for that one, and I managed to hit that. But, faceplate's back on. Oh, let's go. Let's just get to it. Hold up. Hold on. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you ask him what he's doing tonight. <laughs> Troublemaker. Come on. There we go. All right. Make it just a little bit bigger. <laughs> this is ridiculous. If I was trying, I don't think I could have done that. But let's 
see what we can do to get her done. We need this. We need this truck. We're going to need this. Gonna need some tools. <laughs> one of these and one of these. Boat like that. That's about where I need to be. All right. little bit bigger we just need to make it a little bit bigger <laughs> should we actually check we should probably actually check <laughs> just wing it because it worked so well last time and we'll just even that out a little bit Get some oil in there and then we can flip it around. Because who cares about the inside of the mortise? Why did I flip that to go backwards? There we go. We're back to where we should be. <laughs> Get some custom grit, liquid wax. Chuck it down in there. And move on with life. Give the whole thing a quick buff too actually Just like that easy peasy we're only 15 minutes into the show we're already done the bottom and the outside <laughs> right I don't know why there's so few people here today 
Something else going on tonight? That I don't know about? Just noticed this was up. Oh, okay. Oh, beach volleyball zone tonight. Okay. <laughs> room around the outside of this thing all right okay <laughs> now we now we're at where we were supposed to be at Check on the brand new number threes. First go with these, obviously. They, see, they seem enormous after only ever using the twos. You'd uh, probably get more views. <laughs> in and it is it is on <laughs> number three is worth thanks to Beckham and Sean and Pinnell who all pitched in on those they actually they got me those jaws and Another Yatoba blank to make my kid a candy bowl for movie night. He came with me and he picked out a chunk of wood for me to make him a candy bowl for movie night. And so those super chats paid for these jaws and that blank. And I very much appreciate it. There we go. Let's get the inside of this out of this. Oh, we got a few more people trundling their way in. We got, we're at 13. I didn't get a Lily hypothetical question for this week. This thing is big and heavy, and so I can't really go super fast because this is not bolted down. And I'm thinking after, after this experience with this particular blank, I am thinking that I'm going to bolt this thing down. Because... It's never been a problem. It's, I've never had a shaking problem with it, but I've never done anything this big and heavy. So now that I have, I think I want to bolt this down because I don't know if you guys can feel that shaking or hear it anyway. Probably can't feel it. You can't. This is not feel a vision. Anyway, are we still making this thing into a chip and dip? <laughs> I should think this through. I've completely forgotten. This was going to be a chip and dip, right? I've never done a chip and dip, and this was going to be the first chip and dip. And because I need a chip and dip. Let's try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We can just flatten off the bottom and make it a platter tray thing. So I'm going to mark something on here. something. I need, I don't know where any of my damn pencils went. I guess you used the black wing. Uh, what's a, we do want a third and a third and a third kind of thing. Bolt like that for dip. No, that's too much room for chip. We want more dip, less chip. I don't know. We'll do the, use those as the rough estimate of what we're doing here.
There we go. Chip and dip. I'm still tight. Where are they? how deep I'm going before I go too deep, right? It's almost like I forgot how to do this. Take a week off to do some flat work and all of a sudden bowl gouge is what I'm using now. This is my half inch one-way bowl gouge. go inch and a half. And we're less than a half hour. Well, we're at just about a half. All right, we're just getting started. But we're cutting okay. I'm relatively sharp. Still haven't, still haven't set up my Wolverine jig yet. <laughs> That's for this coming week. under an inch that's a good size thing for dip I think and then yeah we'll, we'll see <laughs> who knows there's only 10 of you here watching me screw it up if I do so
where everybody's at. Where the Richardson's at. Where are the Atkins Whites. Where's BJ and Amber? All my peeps left me. I mean, I love that you guys are here, but an inch and a little bit. Should we, before we do the whole inside, should we do some of the outside? Oh, BJ is here. Kind of feels weird to set it up. Unless it's in final form. Took me a while before I made grinder step. Oh, you guys having a conversation? Okay, good, good. You guys can talk to each other. It's good. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing any, like, relevant things. I don't know. It's kind of dead here at work, too. All right, okay. Let's do a little bit of the outside. Because then if we screw something up, we can just knock that middle ring out and just make it flat. <laughs> up a little bit, 15-ish. grabby. take a break here pretty quick I'm already feeling a little bit uh, not pushy but impatient I don't know why I'm being impatient this thing's been sitting around for two weeks like maybe that's why I don't know Starting to be a chip and dip. We're an inch and an eighth or so in there, and only about a half an inch out here. But it does is starting to resemble somewhat of a chip and dip type shape. Oh, let us have a little relax. I'd get some of this off me. Fan going. 
Because you guys seem to think that that's not a bad thing, so... Oh. Sweat mixed with Yatoba. In my hair, my lack of hair. Oh, Kyla showed up. Amber's here. All right, people rolling back in. What are you mounting the grinder Wolverine down on? I don't know. He's a wood. <laughs> I haven't thought about it that much yet. I've had the damn thing for like a month. And it's still in a box. I've watched a couple of people set them up on YouTube and stuff, so... I obviously know what I'm doing. <laughs> no. I've got a piece of wood under the grinder right now that I'll probably mount it to. What did I miss? Not too much. Okay. It's because <laughs> not very many people here. Which is too bad because next week I have to take the, I have to cancel next week because I'm at a market. Yes, new video for my how to set up Wolverine jig like a professional. <laughs> and I'll put a staple through my finger or some nonsense again. I don't think I should ever have like a professional in the title of one of my videos. <laughs> live from market? We've already talked about going live from the market and how that wouldn't be fair to you guys or people at the market. Matthias has a video and plans for it. Okay, does Matthias have a video on how to make a video like a professional? Because I don't think he should. Oh, <laughs> burn. <laughs> so, oh, speaking of making videos like a professional, guess who just downloaded DaVinci Resolve? This guy. I haven't opened it and looked at it yet, but I've downloaded it and it is on my computer. Could be funny, you could entertain yourselves. I just put the mark, the, you guys up in the corner of, while I'm at the market and you guys could just talk to each other while I'm doing market. <laughs> no, I don't think so, I think we'll just Legally or from a Taurus I got it legally. I didn't know it's a free piece of software. <laughs> I just gonna, I'm gonna rip this off. <laughs> I'm gonna steal this free software. <laughs> I mean I guess there's a better like there's a paid version of it as well, but but no, I didn't steal the paid version, I just paid for the free version. I'm gonna get my other one of these. But then, that's my only other one of these. And if, I'm, if, if we're still going and I'm still hot and sweaty, I might accidentally have to have a beer. and dip tray thing may, might work. I forget how chippy and dusty Yatoba is. It's, it's like, it's not fun to turn like walnut and cherry and myrtle. It's like, it's it shreds like it's, and dusts and powders. There's no thin ribbons of goodness coming off of it. <laughs> pretty though. Instead of mellow on brewskis, it's going to be hopped up on the bean. <laughs> uh, I drink so much caffeine that like, other than it keeping me alive, I don't think it really does the like, 
thing to me anymore. It's just like, I need it to function. It's like, yeah, it's one of those things. It's like, if I don't have caffeine, it's a problem. Tony, same Tony Lopez, you you live on coffee as well. I'm afraid to stop all at once. I might die. Yes, yes. That's that's exactly how I feel. That's a good show. I forgot about that show. I watched that show like over and over and over again for a while. Oh. But now I, I don't even watch. I don't watch shows. Kyla, how's the knee? Will you get three weeks left? Do you have your, do you got your little pulley system yet? Because you only get a couple weeks left to make it before it's not useful, be like that useful anymore. Knee is swollen. Well, I assume it's swollen. But like, I don't, I don't even know what I'm asking. Like, does it feel like it's getting better? I don't know how you would know. Three weeks ago. No, you didn't get your little pulley system? I'm going to message Scott and be like, dude, it's bad husbanding. But at least you're surrounded by nice aromatic candles. I'm allowed to bend 50 degrees. That is, I guess it's better than not bending at all. It's not really far enough to, yeah. Consult, wait, I missed something. Oh, new season next month, but a new creator only as an outside input guy thing. Okay, consultant. Yeah, okay. I was like, what's, what's consultant? What are you talking about? Good tea on Tuesday, and we'll go to 90 degrees. Hey! Okay. Okay. Can't be worse than sanding Moranti. We're talking about the chippiness of the Yatoba? Because I think it is actually worse than sanding Moranti. It's, it just doesn't, like, I'm, I'm sharp. If this was walnut or cherry or uh, myrtle or chestnut or something, these would be coming off in ribbons. And they're coming off in dust and chunks and just not pleasant. He's comparing knee surgery to sanding Moranti. Okay, that I can't speak to, but... Have I been able to find any eucalyptus anywhere? The only eucalyptus I've ever found here is in four quarter planks. Uh, and it was in Nanaimo, which is about an hour and 45 minutes up the highway, down the highway, whatever. And I didn't have a project to use eucalyptus in, so I didn't get any. And yeah, so no, I guess the answer is no, I still have not. Well, no, the question was, have I encountered any? So yes, <laughs> but I haven't, I've never used any, and I don't have any. Just want to be able to walk again, to be honest. Well, yeah, because you don't have your little pulley system. I wouldn't, you wouldn't want to walk again ever if you had a proper pulley system and a helper. You wouldn't have to do, put in any effort at all. You have him pulley system you around. And, and then you could rig up, like, this rope contraption, and you could, like, you could... You wouldn't even have to ever put any effort into anything. You'd be like, you'd be like a little marionette with a little... <laughs> I'm picturing just like this rigged up pulley system with ropes and and he's like just making you like, you know, oh, you got soup on you, hon. <laughs> uh, how about a restock on pens? Yeah, that's a good idea. Need to pick one up with gunmetal. Tony Lopez. 
I made uh, an African mahogany gunmetal pen for you to buy off me on a live show. Didn't I? I'm sure I did. And, I, and you, you had to leave early and didn't see that, maybe, or something. That just, this, this, something's coming to mind. There was one night that I was making pens, and I was like, this one I'm going to save. That was my last, yes, it was my last gunmetal set. And I was like, I'm going to save this one because Tony Lopez was asking me for a gunmetal pen. And I'm going to save this one for the African Mahogany because I think he'd like that. Check, check that out. The, uh, it was before the last market, so like a month and a half ago, maybe? Go to the last live show that was about pens and see if I'm remembering that correctly. And if you want to buy that pen, let me check if I still have it first. I hope I didn't sell it at the market because it was in the bag with the rest of the pens. I'm going to go check. <laughs> Let's do the bowl. And then I'm going to check if I have that pen still for Tony. Because I remember specifically at that night being like, I have one gunmetal left. So I'm going to save it for Tony. Because he's been bugging me for one. And I think I did an African mahogany one as my last one that night. And I was like, Tony, let me know if you want this. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, still use the pen I won as my main house pen, writing checks to pay the bills and air. Yes! It's, it's my main desk pen at my, uh, off, at my downstairs house office. Uh, I should bring one to work and have an office wooden pen also. Uh, that went quick. I might have to actually do a beer later. Let's get back to turning. <laughs> totally forgot that I that I did that pen, and then never contacted you. I should have just messaged you after the show and been like, "So do you want this pen?" <laughs> what my purple heart pen is MIA. Oh, okay. I was like, "Did you never get it? Like, did it get lost in the mail, and you just never told me?" But no, you just lost it. Guess that shows how much you really cared about that pen. Glad I put in all that effort. <laughs> See, look at this stuff. Like, this is... That's not fun. Yeah, you're right. Somebody probably did take it. Gotta keep your eye on your nice things, I guess. All right, let's get back to the unpleasantness of this experience. I'm gonna get the outside down to where the inside is, and then I can just swoop, 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 swoop. So I need to get down to an inch and a bit in here, and I'm at a half. unpleasant I wish it didn't look so nice when it's done because if it if it didn't look so nice when it was done I could just justify never turning Yatoba
three quarters. What? Why do you keep doing that? Stop it. You're pissing me off now. idea. Gonna have to switch back and forth for some tools and stuff. Because I'm not good at this. I don't know if you guys like have figured out yet that I'm like still not very good at this. <laughs> a better approach that's a better approach come in that way halfway come in this way halfway meet in the middle remember this is my first one of these so I mean this isn't the chip and dip bowl turning master class <laughs> this is not this is not what this is no <laughs> that's a uh, it's on channel four Remember when there were channels? <laughs> and it was like, it was a number, like it was channel four, as opposed to like, So we've actually got ourselves our little chip and dip formation here. Just needs a little deeper and a little refining, maybe a little steeper, a little steeper, a little deeper. Yeah. Okay. Starting to starting to figure out a technique that works for cutting this thing.
flop it out. Sometimes you just gotta swap over. figuring it out we're figuring it out haters I don't know I don't even know where that came from where's my there <laughs> it's uh god I got a ways I can go still why am I being so careful here <laughs> I still go another damn near half inch let's get cutting what are you doing man a little aggressive maybe <laughs> uh. <laughs> <sighs> I just realized how much fun this thing is going to be to sand. And by fun, I mean the opposite of that. Oh, now we're, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Yeah. All right. Okay. I think I might be done over here. Well, uh, no, I need to. A little hump right there. Okay. 
We're getting close to there though. I have bad news for anybody that was hoping for a second thing tonight though. There was a possibility of if this went quickly and smoothly that I could do another little one after this, but that is not gonna happen now. Yes, that one, that one right there. Yep, that one. Okay, so we've got our chips. Let's do our dip. I'm just gonna do it with this. Ah! We're okay. <laughs> you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to move the tool rest while you're spinning. Not supposed to. And just, you know, to lead by example or whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm foggy. Hold on. Oh, I'm going to do a little bit of a loud noises to get some stuff off me here, dude. This thing's looking to hold a lot of dip. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. An inch and a quarter. Inch, uh, yeah. Wait, okay. All right. going well all of a sudden shouldn't say things like that but this is going well all of a sudden 
I've got a little bit of issue around the top here. I think I can go a little more. And then I'm just going to round off that top bit. And I think we're going to sand it. Maybe. Maybe. That was good. Anybody just see like how awesome that cut was where I went like around the top and then down the side like all in the same swoop? Nobody nobody's proud of me for that? <laughs> like I'm I'm the only one that's proud of me for that. <laughs> Let's uh <laughs> I'm still but I'm still right there having a little bit of a problem a little bit of a high spot still right there but that's good and cool and smooth transition that's a good and cool and smooth transition okay 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 I could be a little steeper on the sides but I don't know that I'm going to be Feel like I'm about quarter, yeah, maybe three eighths deep on the bottom. Okay, all right, okay. Uh, I don't know. Break? No, let's finish. I'm excited. I'm gonna just that little area there sanding is that is that for real ah come on I just moved it over Sanding will get it. Stop being finicky. Sanding will get it. Idiot. All right. Okay. I'm the loud noises again.
let's uh, let's have a little sit, and then we'll sand. It's a chip and dip. It's a chip and dip ish. Okay, one beer, don't tell wife. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, I'll probably tell wife. If I wait for an hour before I gotta get her, it's out of me anyway, so. Oh man, I do not, I love the final look of this wood. I just do not like working with it. Ugh. Oh, she doesn't watch these. <laughs> Apparently nobody else watches these either. Nine people tonight? It's crazy. Is Carl Jacobson doing the damn? Is he? Is that tonight? Are they? Is it Maker Fest or whatever? That might be what's going on. You guys might be missing Carl Jacobson doing something for Maker Fest right now. Is he really? <laughs> that see, I figured it out. Bet he's not making his first ever chip and dip thing out of Yatoba, though. I'm off, gonna go hang out with the kids and play Minecraft and try to stop the fighting. Yeah, okay. Oh, all right. Bye. Only the truly faithful are here, that's right. You hear that, Kyla? <laughs> no, life's gotta come first. Life or Carl Jacobson. <laughs> no, we're good. It's, it looks like it might be a thing, right? Like, doesn't it look like it might actually be a thing? I mean, it took two shows, but. <sighs> or Minecraft. Well, that's life. I mean, when you got kids, sometimes, sometimes Minecraft is life. <laughs> I'm lucky in that uh, did he did go do a Minecraft phase, but right now he's uh, he's on to like Lego Lego superheroes types video games. So we'll play uh, we'll play like Lego Marvel Avengers and stuff, and it's they're they're pretty fun games actually to just waste an hour with. I'll post an update on the leg on Instagram. Good, good. We live and breathe Minecraft. Yeah, mine. He does play still once in a while, but most of the time he's over onto the Lego games now. Roasted flamed maple for the YouTuber guitar neck. Nice, nice. Roasted flamed maple. That'd be good. Just turn some roasted flamed maple. BJ says. Wish I had some roasted flame maple. Wait, I might. No, but, oh, you guys want to see something rad? <laughs> okay, I'm still, I'm still embarrassed by the state of the side of my house. Oh, come on. So, like, no judging on the, uh, on the stuff that needs to go to the dump. But... Look at this. Look at that. This, this, these are about five inches thick. These chunks of maple. Buddy asks me, he goes, Hey, uh, do you want some chunks of maple? I like, I'll just drop them beside your house. I was like, yeah, sure. And when he said, like, do you want some chunks of maple? I was not picturing, like, five-inch slabs of maple. 
and whatever this is, like this is like twelve inch. This is like half tree. So, yeah, thanks, friend, for the giant slabs of maple. But now I have to buy a chainsaw to buck them up into bull blanks. I'm going to leave the door open. I'm going to brush this off. So, like, hey, you want some free maple? Yeah, okay. Here's... 300 board feet of maple. <laughs> Thanks. Now I have to buy a chainsaw and get over my fear of chainsaws. No, I'm not going to slab them. They're already slabbed. I'm going to cut them into bowl blanks. I was actually thinking about keeping two of them and making a new bench top for my workbench. Like giant five inch. No, they're dry. They that they were they were slabbed seven years ago. They've been air drying for seven years. Boo well, boo in some ways. But you telling me, you telling me, boo! Somebody dropped off that many board feet of five-inch thick maple beside my house for free, and that's boo because it's dry. <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say right now? Because I disagree. I will take the five-inch thick slabs of maple for free. Thank you very much. All right, later, Beckham. You make it back as fast as you can and check out the end of this thing. Yeah, let me take it off your hands. The shipping to the other side of the country would be a little crazy. They're not light. I'll tell you that. Like, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to, like, I'm going to have to slab them, or not slab them. I'm going to have to make them into blanks there <laughs> because I can't move them. Sanding, finishing. Jason Bass is back just in time for sanding and finishing. You missed the five inch slabs of maple beside my house. <laughs> All right, sanding and finishing. Oh, yes. Yes. Battery or electric? What? Oh, made a temporary lathe by putting Ryobi cordless into a vise and using the trigger with a set of locking clamps. There you go. I told you I would sell you my other lathe if you want my if you want an actual lathe to muck around with. And you can have it cheap because it sucks. <laughs> Sand it slow. Slow down for sanding purposes. 
What's Carl making tonight? Is anybody watching both? Gonna be loud noises in a second. This is your pre loud noises warning. <laughs> loud noises. <laughs> It's like, that's just like sanding a little bowl. You sand a little bowl, and I don't know about this part. This part's gonna be a pain in the ass, but this, this is just like sanding a little bowl. I need the little one. I need the little one. Oh, hey, Stanford's here. What's the mic check? Anybody seen patches? Where are we at for mic check? Three? One hundred percent mic load. Seventy-five percent. Oh, there's patches. Yeah, we got all four of us. Loud noises. Try it with the whole big one on the wall. Sometimes that works.
to replenish my sandpaper situation. I do not have the right progression today. I'm out of 240. Has anyone turned hickory? No. Well, yeah, somebody has. Uh, so green turn one hole yesterday. I was just wondering how bad does it check and crack. I've heard things about hickory that when it's green, it's awesome to, to work, and when it's dry, it's not. Uh, I don't know about how cracky it is while it's drying. Well, loud noises. Somebody might be able to help you. Paul, maybe. He comes from Hickory Country. Just about done. We're gonna do a slurry sand with 600. Oh. And I'm gonna hang this up because I don't need it anymore. 
Woo, here we go. buffer coat of the wax wax oh that's step one step two custom wax available in a link in the description to my Etsy store best finishing products in the world Made with magical Australian bees. Made by magic. Nope. Made by an Australian scientist from products produced by magical Australian bees. Oh. I did it! <laughs> that peeps that as they say is that woo I did it that 
right? Chip and dip. Chip and dip. <laughs> uh, so it took the whole hour and a half <laughs> just to do the inside. <clears throat> but we did, in fact, finish what we started. And that sometimes is all you can ask for. That is a rad thing. Brand of bottom. And yes, indeed, I'm happy with this. I, I could have gone deeper and I could have made it thinner. But that's going to hold a lot of chips and dip as it is. So I'm happy with it. <laughs> and shut up. <laughs> Yeah. And see what I mean about how it looks awesome? But like, it's such a... It's not fun to work with, but man. I wish, I wish it didn't look this good when you were done with it. Because I don't enjoy working with it. <laughs> He's have a rule of thumb for finishes you apply while spinning it. I've used it so you learned it's usually a bad idea because of swirls or just getting it in the wood. Hmm. I, I would always apply my finish on lathe projects while it's spinning. I can't, honestly, I can't think of a reason not to finish a lathe project. Well, it's spinning. If you're able to do that, I. No, I'm of the opinion that the opposite of what you said. And it's usually a hold on. Did I get it backwards? Do you have a rule of thumb for finishes you apply while spinning it? Uh, I'll get to the, I'll get to the brand in a second, Mike. Uh, I, I mean, I spray, even when I do like a lacquer finish, I spray it while it's on the lathe. I run it really slow, but I, I would always finish lathe projects with any finish while it's spinning. Because it's just way easier to get an even coat of whatever it is. I won't apply to a square bowl. Okay, well, yeah. I mean, assuming that the thing we're talking about is round. I'm not sure if there's any reason not to do it. I can't think, unless it's like, yeah, like, like King B said, if it was a square bowl. Or if it was maybe like a, a super delicate thing with like. Um, voids and stuff in it might not but every everything I've ever done is this true? make sure I'm speaking true before I say it everything I've ever done on the lathe I have finished while it was on the lathe I think is a true statement So there might be reasons not to, and I'm sure I'll come across them eventually, but at this point in my turning journey, uh, I can't, I can't think of anything. And it wouldn't depend on the finish either. Like I said, if I'm spraying lacquer on the outside of, like if I want to do like a shiny lacquery finish on the outside of a bowl, I'll put it on the lowest uh, belt setting 
and spin it at like 75 RPM and just blast the finish on it nice and light while it's spinning. Walk away from it, leave it spinning. Come back 10 minutes later, do another mist of it. Walk away, come back. And just, it helps it get an even coat, I find. Ah, do, do, do. Okay, hold on. There was patches. Wanted to know where I got my brand. I ordered my brand from a guy in, uh, just outside Edmonton, Alberta, called Wolverine, Wolverine Custom Woodcraft. Um, and the service was great, and the brass head is great. The electrical, the thing that heats up the brass head and makes it into a brand is pretty cheap and uh, but mainly what you're paying for is the machining of the brass head anyway so the fact that the electric part of the electric brand is not a super high quality the, yeah the curling iron part the part that I burn my finger on um, but I don't know like this is the only I don't have any any other branding irons to compare it to, so maybe they're all cheap. But the machining of the brass, which actually does the branding aspect of it, was really high quality work. Roasted maple neck black you just ordered was from a guy in Edmonton. Nice. I've heard good things about... Uh, Gearheart Industries? Is that a thing? About 250. Wait, is that Gearheart that you're talking about? No, it can't be because there's a delay. Who makes a $250 one with a head? Oh, you're talking to a different mic, probably. Hold on. Uh, Rockler. Okay, Rockler sells them for 250 bucks. Gee. Gee. Mine was about two hundred dollars Canadian, so that would be about a buck. What, seventy-five buck, buck sixty, buck seventy-five for you guys? Maybe it was two and a quarter. I don't know. It was somewhere around two hundred dollars with the head and the thing. And then replacement heads are like 125 bucks or something like that. Why I still use ink stamps. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not cheap. But I mean, when I bought it, I was doing, I was mass producing charcuterie boards. And like that brand paid for itself in branding. With 10 brands probably. Because each one of those things that goes out with my brand on it, somebody sees at somebody's house and goes, oh, who made that? Oh, that guy? Let me look that guy up. <sighs> I think I have to go get wife pretty soon. So we're gonna have to call this one. It's another fun night, even though a whole bunch of people missed it. <laughs> like, we're still at 10 people. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. They see the brand and then they look it up and then they find this channel and they watch one episode of this and they go, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that guy. <laughs> this was a fun adventure. Yeah, fun is, it was an adventure and it looks rad with the two little ridges on the outside, the uh, bowl inside a bowl, the chip and the Dip and chip, the chip and dip. He doesn't even know the words to Fiddler's Green. What an idiot. Did you hear him screw up Fiddler's Green? <laughs> uh, and every other song he's ever tried, in fact. I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've played a song on this channel where I got all the words right. <laughs> Except the one where I was reading it off a page. 
I might have gotten all the words right on that one. But I'm going to bid you adieu for the evening. Thank you again for coming. I'm happy with the result. Next time I'm having chips and dip, I'm going to have them out of a Yatoba chip and dip handmade thing that I did. And once I figured out a system for coming in in different directions and stuff, I think I might do another one. Because that's a pretty good use of a 2 inch and like a 2 by 12. A chip and dip is a pretty good use of that material. And I don't know, maybe now that I figured out the cutting action efficiency, might be worth doing a couple more and bringing them to market. We're putting them up on the Etsy store, which by the way, after this coming weekend's market, all the stuff that I don't sell at the market, most of which came down off the Etsy store to come to the market with me, when it goes back up, I'm going to lower my prices and do a blowout sale. Because I think it's re-time. I think it's re-time. I think it's time to replenish the store with new things. So the stuff that's been up there for a while and didn't sell and then went to a market and didn't sell. Let's jack the, uh, jack the prices down and get it out of here. And we'll start, uh, we'll start fresh with some new stuff. Beckham 3000 for 3% off. Code will be Beckham 3000. <clears throat> we'll get you 3% off in the store. I don't know that for a fact. Don't, don't try that code and get mad at me. <laughs> That's funny. I think we have a clearance sale. Yeah, Mike Stanifer's right. I think we do have a clearance sale. Because the stuff that I took down off the store to bring to the market has been up there for at least six months. And if it didn't sell in six months on the Etsy store and it didn't sell at two markets over the last two months, let's just slash the price and get it out of here. All right, that's it, that's all. My wife says vegetable and dip. What? Why would you eat vegetables? Like on purpose. Ridiculous. <laughs> stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, everybody. <sighs> Message wife and see if she's done this test thing she had to do. It was like a some kind of financial. She's trying to get become licensed to help sell some kind of funds or something. I don't. I wasn't. I was kind of paying attention when she told me what it was, but it was all gobbledygook because I don't know what I don't know what any of these things are that she's saying. So like when she's she said like it's a specific kind of mutual fund or TFSAFS like something something that she's going to be allowed to sell if she passes this test. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. My wife is smarter than me. She's smarter than me in terms of uh, economics. <laughs> but she doesn't know anything about sports trivia. <laughs> Bye for now, everybody. See you in two weeks, because next week is market. And, in fact, the two weeks from now show might actually be late. Because I work that Saturday and we are doing a studio tour with a pair of artists out of town that goes until four. So I might not be back at my house in time to start the show by 5.30. But I'll let you know <laughs> somewhere on Facebook or Instagram or Patreon or wherever you catch me. Thanks.